Hello, welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. Today I am gonna to talk to you about a pattern haul that I did recently with Love Notions. So I don't own, or I didn't, own any Love Notions patterns prior to the sale that they were just running. And I apologize, I'm getting this up after the sale is over. Hopefully they'll have another one soon. I don't know how often they run them, um, but uh, I just wanted to take you through the five patterns that I bought and the fabric that I already own in my stash, well, except mm, not completely, <laughs> that I'm going to pair them up with. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. Okay, so pattern number one is the um, Forte Top and Dress. This pattern comes... An, Honestly, all of the Love Notions patterns, very size inclusive, and all of the patterns have a ton of different options. So they're all very versatile. So they're worth, uh, well, we'll see. I haven't made them yet, so I don't know if they're worth the money. I have seen rave reviews, people love them. So I'm assuming that it's worth the money. We shall see. All right, so the first pattern that I got is the Forte Top and Dress. This one has four different top views and two dress views and six sleeve options. And it does come with a full bust option, which is good for me. I wanted to make the view C initially. I may end up making some of the other views. As I said, they're all very versatile. You can mix and match all the different pieces. But I wanna make view C. It's basically a scoop neck tee with a flounce at the end of the short sleeve. And the fabric that I have in my stash that I want to use for that top is this cantaloupe text, whoops, sorry, is this cantaloupe textured knit that I got from my fabric haul at Fabric Mart when I was up in Pennsylvania in September just last month. So I'll link um, a card here for that um, fabric haul. Um, in general, I wasn't overly impressed with the selection there, but I did get some pieces that I like, and this is one of them. So it's this um, cantaloupe colored knit, and it's just a jersey knit. It doesn't have a ton of stretch, but it has none this way at all. And then there's a little bit this way. Um, but it's this beautiful color, the cantaloupe color. I think that works well for both spring and fall um, and summer. I mean, it, you know, I think it, it works well for all the seasons. Um, and I think this will be a good option for that top because it's very, uh, it's got really good drape. And um, it's not a fitted shirt, so it doesn't need a lot of stretch. Uh, yeah, so I think that'll be a good option. Um, let's see. It is kind of sheer, but it'll be a top. I think it'll be fine. I like the texture on it. I think it's pretty. I love the color. And I have more than enough of this um, to make that top. So that will be top number one. Top number two is the classic tee. Um, and I am trying this because I have tried, I've made one kind of classic style tee from Cashmerette, who is a great pattern designer, especially for fuller busted, fuller sized people um, like me. I did make the Concord tee, but that one is made to fit. And I, you know, I, I still need to make another one and make the adjustment at the waist, but that one's made to fit. And I don't like my t-shirts to fit, meaning I don't like them to be fitted, if that makes sense. So this classic tee is designed to be semi-fitted, which I think is more my speed. It comes with three different necklines, a scoop neck, a crew neck, a V-neck. It comes with four different sleeve lengths, the short sleeve, elbow, three quarter and long. It's semi-fitted and it has a full bust option. So I was thinking that that would be a really good option for me. I wanna make the crew, nope. I wanna make the scoop neck elbow sleeve version. And I think I wanna make it in this purple, well, it's, a, it's called the Lilac Lush Rib Knit. And I got this from Miley May Fabrics Online. And this is the fabric that I used to make my cuffs on this um, cozy cowl. 
uh, sweatshirt that I love so much. Um, and this is just, it's so, it just feels luxurious. It was not super expensive. I mean, it was, I can't remember how much it was. I will link it in the description box below. I believe they're back in stock. At one point they were sold out, but I believe they're back in stock now. But it's just, it's a beautiful color. It's got this beautiful drape to it. And um, what's interesting is one side, the rib is a little bit more pronounced and on the other side, it's kind of more flat. So you could use it either way, depending on what design feature you prefer. Um, but it's just, it feels, it just feels nice. It feels very luxurious and expensive and it's not expensive. So I believe I have enough of this to make the um, classic tea and I think this will go with some other things in my wardrobe. Okay, the next pattern that I bought is the ladies title tank and top. And this uh, what was interesting to me about this pattern is that it has princess seams, which I thought would be very flattering, but it also allows for um, color blocking or pattern mixing, which you know I'm a fan of if you follow me. Um, so it has three different length options. It's got a top length, a knee dress length, and a maxi length. And it's got three sleeve options, a tank style, a sleeveless style, and short sleeves. I want to make the top length with short sleeves and I want to color block it. So I had these two knits in my stash. This one is kind of like a dark gold color. Um, and this one is a textured stripe that's kind of a marigold color. So the colors, the two yellows are not the same, but I feel like they coordinate well enough where this would look good together. Um, and so I think that this would make a good pairing for the title tank top. And um, I'm not sure which one would go as the main and which one would be the accent. Main accent, I would go this way, right? or main accent. What would you do? Which order would you put this in? Which one would you do as the main? And which one would you do as the accent color? I'm curious. Anyway, I think that'll make a, a nice princess seam top. The fourth pattern that I bought is the Metra Blazer. Now, I got this because it is designed for stable knits. I'm not interested in wearing a structured woven blazer. I'm working from home. I'm rarely ever gonna go into the office. When I do, I don't need to be like uber professional looking. We have a, a business casual um, uh, dress code. So I'm not interested in like a really structured woven blazer because I don't find them to be comfortable at all. This one interested me because I really liked the, so it has two collar options, a shawl collar or a wide lapel option. I was really interested in this when I saw it made up with the wide lapel option. I just thought it was a good layering piece that I could wear for work or on the weekends with jeans. It just looked like it could be worn in many different ways. So I really liked the style of this and the fact that it's made out of a staple knit means that it's gonna be a lot more comfortable than a woven blazer would be. My problem here is I don't, I only have one staple knit in my stash and I don't love the color. It's this oatmeal color. I had bought this last year um, when I was planning to do a fall capsule wardrobe and I was picking very neutral colors. So I had this, I had a chocolate brown, I had a rusty kind of orange, which the rusty orange I still love, but the more like basic, like oatmeal and brown colors, they're just not me. So um, I used this for muslin for my Rebecca Page skinny jeans, the jeggings version. So, but I still have a ton of fabric left over because my goal when I bought this fabric was I was gonna make some uh, culottes out of this. And I'm not going to do that now. Um, so this is really the only stable knit I have in my stash. 
and this is not me so I'm not going to use this but the reason I'm showing it is because it's the only one I have so when I'm ready to make the Metro Blazer I'm going to have to buy some fabric because I don't have anything and then finally to me this one's the most exciting um so I got the ladies boyfriend cardigan I was not interested in this pattern I had seen it floating around um it looked just kind of blah to me but then I was watching Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery the other day and she was doing uh, she did several different love notions themed videos recently in support of the sale because the sale was 40 percent off um, hopefully you were able to take advantage of the sale and in one of her videos um, she was showing a hooded duster length cardigan outfit and I was like yes I could wear that that would be cute um, so uh, I bought the pattern and um, Actually, what's interesting is I bought all those other patterns and checked out and downloaded the patterns. I went back to buy the boyfriend cardigan after I watched Whitney's video. As soon as I bought that pattern, I went and found some fabric because I was so eager to make the pattern. So I ordered some fabric from Mood. So this one was not in my stash. I ordered this. Oh goodness, why does that keep happening? Sorry, sorry. Um, so I ordered some fabric from Mood specifically to make this pattern and I'm really excited about it and um, I can't wait to show you. I'm going to have to stand up and show you because there's more, there's, it's, it's very interesting. So it is a sweater knit. It's obviously an animal print. But look how cool. It's like two different animal prints in one. So it's got this, I don't know, what would you call that? It's not really leopard print. Not, what do they call it? They just say mixed animal print. <laughs> um, so you can see there's one at the top and then it goes to one, a different one at the bottom that's kind of as, what is that a zebra print? So I was thinking this would be really cool this way so that the, um, the duster like goes from one animal print to the other at the bottom. And I think that is gonna be, if I can, hopefully I can do it that way because I'm not as excited about it this way. No, it's not as cool. It looks much cooler this way, but I also want to get the hood. I also want to get the hood in there. So I did buy enough according to the pattern. So hopefully that all comes together the way that I have it planned. So what do you think? Are you inspired to make any of these? Have, do you have any of the patterns? Have you made any of these patterns? If you have, um, let me know below. If you have an Instagram account where you've posted them, let me know. I'd love to go check them out. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I got. Uh, wherever you are, I hope the weather is amazing. I hope you're able to get some sewing in, and I really appreciate you joining me today. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.